So one of the most common questions I get asked on TikTok are about hashtags. And so we have to understand TikTok hashtags. First of all, are they important? Yes. Okay. Is there a right way to use them? Also, yes. Is there a wrong way to use them? Also, yes. Can they be underused? Absolutely. Can they be overused? Oh, yeah. Is this topic confusing? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, we think so too. So let's talk about TikTok hashtags and we're going to do that right now. So hey, welcome back to the channel. I am Ken with KenTheContentCoach.com and once again in this video, we're going to talk about TikTok hashtags and how they help your content be seen by the right audience, by the audience you intended. Now, if you are a content creator looking to elevate your content, whether it's on TikTok, here on YouTube, anywhere else, make sure that you subscribe to the channel. I put these kind of videos out all the time. This one specifically about TikTok will obviously be part of my TikTok series. If you want to follow me on TikTok where I give advice every single day on how to grow on TikTok, that link will be in the description of this video. Thank you so much for that. Of course, hit that like button also. Greatly, greatly appreciate you. So first of all, let's talk about how hashtags work and why they are important for your content. So to understand TikTok hashtags or hashtags on any social media platform, the first thing to understand is what they actually do for your videos, for your content. So to think about how hashtags work, think about SEO for websites, think about tags for YouTube videos, things like that. What they actually do is help your content get in front of the right audience based on that hashtag and who the audience is that typically finds that. Now, TikTok, in my opinion, does this better than any other platform as far as their algorithm goes. Those hashtags are very important for your video because number one, you're gonna tell TikTok what audience you are reaching for with these videos. So the hashtags you use in those videos are going to reach that audience specifically. Secondly, TikTok does a great job of organizing audiences and community by those hashtags. So basically TikTok knows their audience enough to know that user A watches videos with this hashtag, user B likes these hashtags, and it does a great job of organizing your audience and sending your specific audience to your videos based on those hashtags that you were using. In this video, I'm gonna give you three tips for using hashtags effectively. And we're gonna start off right off with number one, you wanna make sure that you research the proper hashtags. Now there are many ways you can research hashtags. You can use websites. There are other creators that have newsletters and things like that, that they will send you relevant hashtags and what hashtags are working. But in order to find the best hashtags for your video, for your audience is to research them directly through the TikTok app. So I'm gonna walk you through how I do that. Now this is something I do pretty frequently. Now this is the TikTok app of course, and if I take this back so you can see this is the search screen, this is the discover tab at the bottom. We have the search tab at the top so you can search whatever terms are relative to your video, to your niche here. So let's start off with content creation. After I search the term, I'm gonna look at the top and you see top users, videos, sounds, live and hashtags. We're looking for that hashtags category. So I'm gonna click hashtags. And now we see a whole list of hashtags here that you can choose from. Now these are gonna change frequently. I would make sure that you research these periodically. I try to do this every couple of weeks. I keep a list of them in an Apple Notes file. And then that way I've got them on my phone and I'll go through and depending on the video that I'm doing, I will use certain hashtags for that video from the list that I've researched and kept maintained. So as we're looking down through here, you can see right off the top, we have hashtag content creation. And then off to the right, we have the number of views for that hashtag, which is 143.1 million. Now that's important. I'm gonna come back to the number here shortly. And as we scroll down, you can scroll and see all kinds of hashtags. And this is gonna show you how many views a hashtag is getting, which will give you an indication of how well that hashtag is, how big the audience is for that hashtag and your potential reach. So again, we're gonna talk about the numbers shortly, but as we scroll down, you see all kinds of hashtags. So this is a great way to find hashtags and research the ones that you wanna use. So that is the first tip. Make sure that you research hashtags, keep track of what you're researching. That is a great way to keep on top of what hashtags are currently working. So the second tip I have in this video, you wanna make sure that you are using the right number of hashtags. Now you can definitely overdo it with hashtags. You can use too few, you can use too many. The biggest problem that I typically see is people using too many. Now recently TikTok did increase the number of characters that you can have in the caption area. So now that's 150 characters. Obviously you can add a lot more words and hashtags, but I still stick to what I believe to be the best strategy for hashtags. And that is limiting your hashtags to right around that four to six hashtag area. So I typically would not use any more than four to six. Now the way that I break those down, 
I will typically use one really, really popular hashtag, and I'll tell you why here in just a minute. The rest of them are going to be smaller range hashtags, which are going to be lower in views. That way, my video has a better chance of being seen among the videos that are using that hashtag. And I also use a couple of branded hashtags, which means hashtags that I created that relate directly to my platform that I'm typically the only one using. So anytime that hashtag comes up in a popular search, it's gonna lead back to my videos every single time. Now, let's talk about the view counts of hashtags. You wanna be careful with the view counts. So when you look at the view counts, which we saw on the previous screen, we had view counts that range from literally zero up to billions and billions of views for a hashtag. The reason that's important is because you wanna make sure that you are using hashtags that are not the most popular viewed hashtags. That way, when your video goes out, you're not competing with so many videos, especially for smaller accounts. You're trying to grow your account. You really don't wanna to have to compete with billions of views, millions of videos that are generating those views and the larger accounts that are using those hashtags also. So if you focus on some smaller hashtags, the range that I like to use for most of my hashtags, anywhere in the ballpark from say 10,000 views up to 500 million at the most. And even those I use sparingly, I will use the 500 million will be really the top number of views for a hashtag that I'll choose. And I'll really only use one of those. Now, along with that, there are some other hashtags that you want to avoid. And these are gonna be hashtags that are used way too often. They are way oversaturated and they really don't point to your niche or your audience. And that's gonna be things like hashtag FYP, hashtag for you page, hashtag for you, all of those kind of hashtags that you may be tempted to use in your videos because you see other people doing it. There's two problems with those big hashtags. Number one, they really don't lead back to a niche and they have nothing to do with your content. So if I make a video about how to use hashtags on TikTok and I use hashtag FYP, that hashtag has nothing to do with my content. Likewise, if you are a comedian, let's say, and you do a video about, you know, part of your stand-up routine, a little one minute segment of some stand-up comedy, hashtag FYP has nothing to do with your content and it doesn't lead to an actual targeted audience. And now onto the last tip. The last tip that I have for hashtags is know when to use hashtags and when to not use hashtags. Now it's true, hashtags can be used incorrectly in a way that are not gonna work for your video. And so in that case, it may be better to use no hashtags. If you use the wrong hashtags that find the audience that you're not necessarily looking for, then the better thing to do is use no hashtags. Now, the way this would work for you, if you're using no hashtags in your video, then TikTok is going to find your audience for that video based on number one, most of the people that watch your content normally. And number two, as it starts to hit people's FYPs, who's watching it, who's watching the whole video, who's engaging with it the most, and then who are people like them that is your audience. TikTok will find them. That is something TikTok does a great job with is being able to find your audience based on your content. And honestly, hashtags are very important. So if you are going to use them, use them right. If not, it may be better to not use them at all. I want to be clear about this. Hashtags are very important to use, but you have to make sure that you use the right strategy. So hopefully that helps a little bit. Once again, content is king. Your content is going to be the ultimate thing that makes or breaks that specific video and your platform. So you wanna make sure that outside of all the strategy we can talk, you understand that your content at the end of the day is going to be the reason people keep coming back to watch your content. So you wanna make sure that your content is the main focus and then apply strategy to that. So I've learned a lot of things about TikTok across this account and my previous account that I hope to use to help. Again, the link for my TikTok is in the description. If you'd like to follow me on TikTok, I do this kind of stuff every single day on TikTok. That link is in the description. And hey, if you wanna know how I got to where I'm at, why I started over, I had another account, check this video out right here, watch this video next. This will tell you the reason why I deleted an account at 26,000 followers. And now two months later with a new account, I'm almost right back to that point and things are going well. So check that video out. If you have any questions, drop them down in the comments below. As always, thanks so much for watching this video. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Remember, just hit record and we'll see you for the next video.